And we are back with another episode of Monday Night Dynamite. I am the Jam Son. With me, as always, is my broadcast partner, Brock Redhead. How you doing tonight, Brock? Oh, shit, man. Another month down in the books, man. We're almost we're almost there. Uh, this Sunday, fight for the fallen. Mm-hmm. And I believe, uh, what is it, Judgment Day? No, so all month... Cyber Sunday. I think I was... <laughs> no, all... All month, I've been, I believe I've been saying Judgment Day. If someone could go in the comments and let me know, we're going to say the same thing tomorrow night. Uh, but no, it's actually no way out. I've been saying Judgment Day for the past month, and I feel fucking stupid about it. Because I do this all the damn time. I look at the notes for who won the matches and all that, but I never look to see what the show is going to be. But yes, yeah, so it's no way out. Then it's Cyber Sunday, and then it's WrestleMania. Yeah, we're looking to, looking forward to some some crazy months ahead uh, as we finish up the season. But uh, you know, we do this as long as we do, folks. Accidents happen. So yeah, but season three is going to be more professional. I'm fucking excited about it. Yeah, we're definitely going to be uh, trying some new things out. I mean, the good news is too. I think my quality is going to be a little bit better because uh, I won't be like just streaming from my PlayStation. Uh, yep. 2K22 I got on PC, so the quality level should be higher there. We'll, we'll see how crashy it is. I haven't played yep. too much in the universe mode yet. I'm just going to like just start it right when we go. Uh, but uh, I look forward to seeing how creatively we come together with this. Yeah. So uh, just so everybody knows, what tonight is is what we call the, fi- uh, the final five. So before the fight for the Fallen, the final five matches are five matches of five people in an elimination scenario uh, for the number one contendership for their respective titles. So this is for the FTW, number one contendership. Whoever wins this match will go one-on-one with the current champ, who I believe is Lance Archer. And who we got here? Uh, this is uh, Powerhouse Hobbs in the center, then uh, Buddy Matthews to the right, Keith Lee uh, to the far right, Ricky Starks to the left of Powerhouse, and Wardlow uh, on the far left. Perfect. Get my notes going. Okay. Okay, he's um, starting it. I, with them being new to the company, man, Lee and uh, Matthews, uh, I mean, I don't want to immediately go to them because I know a little bit about their career. So do you see this as a youngins versus uh, uh, first nighters? Well, I mean, to, to a certain degree, you know, you do have a little bit the upstarts uh, coming in and and trying to shake things up uh but uh you know like all of these men are established one way or the other whether it was directly here in AEW or from wwe coming over uh, i think they're all about the same caliber it's just a question of passion who's going to want it the most mm-hmm. you have someone the size of ricky starks man who who won and held that title for quite some time there was a little bit of back and forth but i mean he was a fighting champ, and he kept uh, he kept things going with that feud for a while. So you got to respect that from uh, one of the youngins. Uh, yeah. But then, like Keith Lee, you know, you just got to bask in his glory. Oh yeah. <laughs> um. So let's talk real quick. Uh, kind of. I'm trying to piece together some people that are in this match that have uh, some previous matches. So week two, Keith Lee uh, picked up a loss. Uh, uh, Hobbs it wasn't a loss. Week. I think it was a Keith Lee and Jay Lethal. It was a double count. Oh yeah, it was a double count. Okay, thanks for me. Uh, but Hobbs picked, picked up a victory over Archer, and then True. week three, um, Keith Lee picked up a victory over Lethal because we ran it back. Yeah, in the table through the tables. Yep. So I mean, Keith Lee is the only one really that's uh, Keith Lee and Hobbs are the only one really that have a match as of lately. That is true. But keep in mind too that Wardlow is our cross brand champion. If you recall yep. before the Omni Wars, yep, the cross brand Wardlow was the last one to win that title. Ah. And like I said too, Ricky too, someone who's held belts for numerously long times mm-hmm. 
uh, Buddy Matthews is the only one, unfortunately, that I cannot recall ever really winning a decent singles title. Yeah. I'm not saying it didn't happen. It's just if it happened, I blinked and missed it. Correct. Whoop. Nice. And he, and Matthews is focusing on Lee right now, while the yeah. other two are focusing on Hobbs. Well, I guess you got to face the devil you know, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they had matches together at NXT before he got called up. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Buckle soup. Oh, no, never no mind. But it was soup tucks him into the turnbuckle. Oh, Ricky Starks taking Wardlow down on the outside. Drop kick to him, too. Powerhouse taking advantage. Trying to get Ricky back in the ring. Yeah. There you go, Matthews. Oh. And Matthews, the newest addition oh. to House of Black. Yeah, that is true. The newest member of the House of Black with Brody King and Malachi Black. Yep. Oh, huge slam by Keith Lee onto Buddy Matthews. Ricky tossing Ooh, out shit. Wardlow, but then getting tossed by Powerhouse. Oh, Hobbs, break that shit up! No, he doesn't need to. It's an elimination match. Oh, it is elimination. It is yeah. elimination. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, Jesus. all of the, all of the. Uh, all of the final five matches tonight are elimination only. So five superstars having to eliminate one another. I wonder if the elimination chamber works better in 2K22. I hope so. Boom. Powerhouse working on more on the outside. Those three working together, and Keith Lee and Buddy Matthews focusing only on each other. Yep. Lamo. Is that a spirit bomb? I think so. Buddy Matthews has been eliminated. Damn. Oh, Keith Lee beating one to the chest. Fireman carry down to Ricky Starks. What well, powerhouse more will go at it in the corner. Keith Lee tossing Ricky out. There you go, Lee. Really focus on Starks. Focus on Starks. Powerhouse just annihilating Wardlow with that power slam. I don't know why Ricky was running into well, I guess just to go for this. Ooh, he had that scouted. Ricky coming back with a kick to the face. Ricky able to quickly counter that. Oh, and Ricky going for the a submission. Why don't you pin Powerhouse? <laughs> There you go. Oh, beautiful. Boom. Keith Lee taking advantage to the distracted powerhouse hog. Bam. Clipping him in the ears. Oh, hob, 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 hob. Boom. Huge power bomb onto Keith Lee in the center of the ring. Hobbs reaching for it. We're going to go for a cover. Ooh. Standing moonsault. Go pick him up. Yeah. Oh. oh. Lee. Lee rebounds like a bull. Charging, knocking him down. Only a one count. But now a fresh Ricky's coming. Whoop. Nice reversal. Oh. 
I will say, I did test out Rob Van Dam mm-hmm. uh, against um, Cena. And Rob Van Dam's uh, focused on uh, rope moves and all that. So it from like the minute I saw, because like, I didn't watch the entire match, uh, but uh, they did focus on like aerial moves and all that. So from what I've seen, what you assign them really really shows what they're doing. Yeah. But I mean, the RVD you got must be like a, a community creation because they didn't release the. Yes, uh, yes, yeah, no, no, no. It's it's. Uh, what did you call them? Filler spots until the actual mm, ones come out. Yeah. 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 So Ooh. I'm pretty happy with just about all the models that I picked. You know. Yep. I even grabbed some managers this year. Like I got Vicky Guerrero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just because I thought it'd be fun, William Regal. Ricky just taking Keith Lee out of the equation for the moment, but gets scooped up by Powerhouse. Slam down in the center of the ring. Good night, Ricky. So now down to two huge men. Two huge slabs of beef that will collide in this ring where only one can be the true victor. Yep. Blam. Oh, nice. Oh, that's true. There's a. There's really no uh, disqualifications. Because it's just an elimination pin. The only way to. To win is pinfall or submission. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, he needs to get him in the ring first. Some true back and forth between the two. Boom! Jawbreaker. I don't know, man. I don't think I've ever seen any of the AI ever take off the table. No. Boom! Keith is like, thank you for waking me up. Oh, yeah. It's like a shot of caffeine, baby. Getting back in, come on. Whoop. Nice forearm. Boom. Forearms back and forth. Looks like. Oh. I was going to say it looks like uh, Keith Lee is getting the better of him, but Para has made quite the comeback. Oh, yeah. Oh, tossed into the post. I think he was trying to put him into the ring, but just misjudged by a little bit. Powerhouse looking to put this one away. Yeah, but Lee can't afford a loss, though. Why would you throw... Oh, and Keith Lee just like, all right, if you ain't following the program, I'm going to put you down. Yup. Blam! Nice. Going for that cover. Ooh, Only a two lead. count. He's just losing his freaking mind. Oh, shit, shit, shit. The strength to hold a man up like that, though. Yep, like the strength of a horse. Oh. 
going for that cover. One, two, three. Keith Lee is the winner uh, of the FTW Fatal, Four, uh, Fatal Five Way. Final five. Part one is complete. Damn. What a match. Not bad, not bad, not bad. There was drama. There was effort. There were big slabs of meat beating the shit out of each other. (laughs) Damn. All right. Well, Lincoln needs to be careful for what's about to happen, though. And going for the cover... Missed it. He just couldn't quite get it. Keith Lee taking it away. Damn. Hey, listen. It is what it is, man. Keith Lee is a person to be uh, feared. Definitely, since coming to AEW, uh, really putting the locker room on notice. Yep. Up next, we have for the TBS title, uh, number one contendership, we have Penelope Ford, The Bunny, uh, Jade Cargill, Abaddon, and Red Velvet. All of these women kind of been in contention for this title for some time. Jade having recently lost that title. To Jamie Hayter. I mean, who are you putting? uh, Who are you putting into? uh, Who do you want to move on? Well, I mean, it'd be nice for Jade to get another chance. She was a great champion, but also Red Velvet was a pretty crazy champ. And then you have, Mm -hmm. like, the unknowable, like, the bunny. I mean, the bunny had some contention last month, and she was one of the uh, other contenders that actually beat Jade Cargill, too, and never got a chance to uh, uh, go after that belt. Mm Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what the fates decide. Ooh, nice. Red Velvet already taking the bunny down with a huge DDT. Oh, tossing her out. There you go. Yep, Penelope Ford tossing Jade outside the ring. So you know how I'm doing a bunch of cuts for season three? Mm-hmm. Is there going to be a lot of cuts for you? Or, or because I know you're pulling up a Wednesday show as well, so... Does does that affect on the does that have a effect on the roster? No, uh, because like uh, it's going to be a shared roster, you know. For me, it's not separate shows, right? Right. It's just different uh, chances to showcase different people. And I mean, right. Wednesdays will be five matches, and Fridays will be three. Ooh. Damn. Fast elimination. Jade taking no bullshit from nobody. Already? Yep, Penelope Ford is out of the running. Jay looking to avalanche the bunny. Red Velvet looking to sneakily capitalize. Oh, but Abaddon interfering. She's like, all right, you guys handle each other. I'll just chill out over here by the ref. I just can't believe it's over already for that person. Yep. Poor Penelope Ford. Yeah. Does not often get to go further forward. Bunny's still in it. She looks like she's a bit out of it, but she's still in the contest. Yep. There it is. Nice. Abaddon picking her up, 
putting her on that top rope and busting her in the gut. Bunny taking her out at the knee, though. Oh, yeah. Then going after Red Velvet herself. See, she's being smart right now. She took out Jade. She then attacked Ab- Ab- Abdon. Now she's attacking Red Velvet. Blammo, a huge DDT on the bunny. Jade going, all right, kick to the guts. Maybe a little higher than that. Mm-hmm. Abaddon finally coming to on the outside. Going to work on Abaddon some more. Wow, Jade and Red Velvet renew their rivalry from this past year out on the outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was sure that Abaddon was going to bridge that. Boom, dropping the leg down on her. Oh, Abaddon, 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 no! Slam! Nice! What is, what is this move? <laughs> this move is called securing her spot. It's like what, it's like put her on the outside, I thought she was going to do like a jump, like a, oh! <laughs> She's like, Jeez. fuck oh. you, Velvet! <laughs> Ooh, Bonnie. Vicious spear. <laughs> Velvet hits Bunny, but then grabs Abaddon. Oh, Bunny puts <laughs> puts Velvet to sleep on the outside. Oh, the comeback kid. Oh yeah. Stunners her, but then gets immediately grabbed by Abaddon. Suplex. Ooh, clipping the table a little bit. At least Velvet seems to realize we have to be in the ring for a pin. You got to, man. Oh. Blammo by Abaddon. And Jay goes for the cover. Man, you're having the vultures watch over you, too. Yeah. If this were WWE, the bunny would have had a chance to cover as well. Oh, yeah. No! This is awesome indeed, folks. Now, I'm pretty sure they said this. Clear your people. ears out. That's what they're saying to you, bro. Clear your ears out. Oh, Abaddon's going for it Uh-oh. again. Whoa! Drop. That was like a knee to the face and then an RKO. Bam. Go for the cover, Abaddon. Oh, Red Velvet going for the cover instead. Abaddon not having it. Never let it be said that the women of AEW were weak. It's true. A 
Mandible Claw. Will she give up? Will Velvet tap out? No, she reverses. There you go, Dragger, Dragger. You want to cover Abaddon in the ring? This could be it for Abaddon. One. No, only a two oh. count. Jesus. Bunny really hammering on the head of uh, Jade out on the outside. <laughs> yes, right in the ring. Oh no! Oh, blam! Oh, no. Bunny slammed <laughs> on the ramp. Why would you ever take a spot like that? Oh, working that leg and knee. Jesus, Abaddon, a flurry of kicks in the ring. Unfortunately, knocks Velvet out of it. Bunny finally pushing Jade back towards the squared circle where she needs to be to win. Oh, a little too soon, Bunny. There you go. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who got the cover there? Was it Abaddon or Velvet? Or, or Bunny? No, no, oh. no. Oh. oh, Bunny was reversed. The fire's back. Hits Abaddon in the face. Taking her to the corner. Look into Avalanche. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Suplex? DET? Oh, arm drag. Arm drag from the top rope to the center of the ring, going for the cover. Two, only a two camp. Oh, Red Velvet. Her kick did not land the way she intended. Suplex. Brain Buster. Oh, another suplex. The bunny calling for it. Could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Oh. Oh. Abaddon reverses. Steals that finisher. Bunny smartly rolls out of the ring. Red Velvet, double kick nice. to the face. Gotta go for that cover. One, two, three. Wow. Abaddon is out. It's down to Red Velvet or the Bunny. Ooh, nice rolling form. Yeah, Velvet looking to take back what was hers not too long ago, that... TBS title. She'll get a chance to go one on one against Jamie Hader at Fighter Fest if she wins this match. Or Fight for the Fallen, sorry. Yes, fight for fight the Fallen. For fallen. I'm gonna pull a Brock here. <laughs> Damn right, dude. There's way too much going on. Bunny calling for it. Might be over. Velvet not ready for it. Eats that kick. Bunny going for the cover in the center of the ring, and it is, might be it, folks. One, two, three. And the yep. bunny is going to face Jamie Hayter at Fight for the Fallen. So I don't want to jinx it. But it seems... So I have my notes for tonight in sections of five. Mm-hmm. And everybody in the middle so far has won their matches. Because I had Hobbs, Mer Hobbs, Matthews, Lee, Starks, and Ward. Hobbs was in the middle, but uh, but it was right, right, right. Uh, Keith that won. It. He was on the far left. Yeah, but how I put it. It was Hobbs, um. Matthews. Uh, and then for this one, it was Ford, Velvet, Bunny, Cargill, and Abaddon. Well, I don't know, man. I might be, I, 
I might be rigging the show. It is witchcraft. And speaking of witchcraft, oh, we have God's no. favorite champion, Miro. Oh, but see, and, now I might jinx myself because I want Miro to be in the middle now. And Dan Housen, oh, Scorpio yep, Sky on the far left, Sammy Guevara uh, right next to Miro, and then, of course, Brody King, one third of the notorious House of Black. So far, two members of House of Black in action tonight. So far, Buddy Matthews for that FTW qualifier, and now yep. uh, Brody King for that uh, uh, TNT title. What do you think about them apples? I mean... Put it in your pipe and smoke it. Whoa! I dropped you. I lost you. I dropped no. you. No! I'm sorry! Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, there we go. We're safe. We're good. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, oh, from that there we go. kerfuffling disaster. <laughs> we'll see when your when your when your case breaks and you got to go without one for like a little bit. Then you drop your phone without your case. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Then I'm your not. phone's broke. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not as ex- I'm not excited about it either. Wow, Brody King just manhandling Danhausen, the scrawny little demon. I really wish they could do like Danhausen moves. I mean, he puts curses on people, so they'll be like be standing on the top rope, ready to jump, and he'll be curse you. You'll fall. I, 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 I'm not a fan of that. I'm just... I know it's a show and entertainment, but... Nah. Well, it's neat because right now, in, in real life, AEW, he's, he's been doing it to people for a while, and it's worked, and he's been trying to curse Hook, but it never works. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw the one where he <laughs> popped out of the trash can. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's just stupid little bits of fun, man. Scorpio Sky working on Brody King. Wow. Miro finally getting back into the swing of things, going after Sammy Guevara. And then Dan Housen coming back into the mix. Deciding he'd rather mix it up with Brody King. Whoop! Bam! Taking Brody King down on the outside. Sammy really working on Miro. Mm-hmm. So who are you voting for? Uh, I, 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 got, I got to go with God's, God's favorite champion. That is a good pick, man. I would love to see Brody King get it. Just because it's, you know, he hasn't had that great of a run so far. <laughs> yep. But, uh... Like, even Scorpio Sky wouldn't be bad. Danhausen, well, that would be surprising. But Sammy, Sammy might deserve another shot, too. Miro just going crazy on the outside while Scorpio took down Brody King. Danhausen narrowly avoiding that kick from Scorpio. Swear to God. What, you think Dan Housen's going to win? <laughs> uh, see, I'm weird. Dan Housen is second to my not favorite. First being, of course. Uh, <laughs> Orange Cassidy. Orange I know. Cassidy. There's going to be a tag team pretty soon, I'm sure. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate The, the, the universe will make it happen because God hates me. <laughs> Boom. Please let Dan be the first one out. Come on, dude. No, he has yet to lay a curse on anybody so far. You know who he needs to face to put him in line? Uh, who? Hardcore Holly. Hmm. Maybe Buddy Holly. <laughs> oh my god. 
What about Randy Ho- Randy Hogan! No, no Randy Hortons. <laughs> so you know how we were discussing uh, the future of Monday for season three? Yeah. So I decided, now hear me out, I got Carlito to come back, correct? That's nice. Primo instead of the Great Cali. Well, I don't know if it has to be instead of, but yeah. No, no, like... no, 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 no. It, it, it is instead of. It is. Instead of. Well, you should get Primo then and Epico and have them be like a, a Cuban the... gangsters or something. See, uh, uh, Primo, I found a good one, but Epico, there wasn't a good one, but they both were matching when it came to when they were like the masked dudes. Oh, yeah. Los yeah. luchadores. Yes, we, yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah. But then you could have that little tiny bull guy. Torito. Oh or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, someone needs to do something. I'm right, talking they're, like. They're doing who, lots of things, really. Who, who evil. But I think God's favorite champion over there just keeps, like, gloating to the crowd a little too much. He's not taking it seriously. Well, because he's God's favorite champion. He doesn't need anyone's approval. Oh, and a flying Dan Housen we have. And Dan Housen! I just don't like him, man. Oh, Scorpio going for the submission on Big Man Brody King. He got him to tap. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. First one out is Brody King. Alright, alright, Miro. Miro, use it! Yes, yes! Miro, Miro, Bobiro, Banana, Fana, Fulfiro. <laughs> yes, yes, it's done. Boom, sky's out. Miro will make you tap! Nope, just going for a cover. Alright, whatever floats your boat. Miro saving for Danhausen, because Brock don't like him. <laughs> I'll break his freaking neck for you, Brock. <laughs> oh, huge super kick to score you. This has got to be it for him. One, two, three. Goodbye, yeah. Scorpio Sky. Yep. All right, I'm Miro, a poet and I know it. Oh, damn. No, Miro no, taken no, down by no, Danhausen. No. 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 Boom! To your face. No. Stop. Oh, is he going to make... Uh, no. Make Sammy tap. Only one man to make Sammy tap. It's like, I cursed you. And I cursed you, too. No. Miro, don't you dare. One, two, three, Miro. Miro. four, Miro. five, Miro. six, Miro. seven, Miro. eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. And then a your back. And then a kiss. Bone. And a cursed meteor guts. I'm crossing my accents. I'm starting to sound like Santino's. <laughs> <laughs> Santino and Dan Housen. Santino Housen. <laughs> Was like, what do you think? I am weak. Yes. You're wrong. Curse you. No, come on, Neil. Okay, Sammy. There you go. Boom. Sammy with the takedown. Pin him. Miro letting him have that cover, like just whatever. Get him out of here. Only oh, two Dan Housen still kicking through. He cursed us all by letting him watch him. <laughs> He's blessed me, man, because I I, I love seeing you suffer. <laughs> My God. It's been a week. I just love seeing you suffer. Oh, knee to the face. To the knee. face, to the knee. Come on, tap him out, tap him out. Oh, never mind. Oh, side slam. Oh, 
Oh, but he, he took his eyes off the prize for two seconds. Sammy now getting the better of him. Oh, bam! Okay, Nero's out, so that way, you know, nothing bad happens to God's favorite champion. Catch them all. Three bone! Yes, there Wham! You go. Is he going to the top? Where are you dragging him to, Sam? Only a one count because of all that fucked up dragging around. He should have just, like, brought him close to the corner, done his finish, and be done with it. Wait, so Nero is God's favorite champ champion. If we're talking about wrestling, are we talking about JBL or Chris Jericho? Well, of course Chris Jericho, because he's a demo guy. But J, but, J, J, but JBL is a wrestling guy. Eh, demo guy is, is higher rated than wrestling guy. Are you sure? One thousand percent. Mm, maybe. Hey, man. I'm your elder. I know more than you. <laughs> true no no i swear to god dad i will leave this table oh thank god i will legit if dan Housen pins nero i am leaving this commentary table we shall see and you will have to go on without him swear to god if he pulls a sneaky pin Brock, baby don't sweat it you're gonna like nope Oh. You don't push away his meaty thighs like that. Dan! No, Dan, 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 Dan. I swear to fucking God, I will not show up for the pay-per-view. Getting no. ever closer. Nero, why would you do that? No. T -T. No. No, Nero. I will log off of this commentary <laughs> table. I will leave right now! <laughs> Why do you uh, hate me? Why do you hate me? I, I, I just put them in a match. It's not my fault how they do. Why do you hate me? You put Dan Housen in the middle, then he would have been eliminated. Get out of here. <laughs> It's Sammy, a love-hate relationship. Sammy, if you do not clutch this pin. So as of right now, for sure, it's going to be no, it's either not. Dan Housen or... No, it's not. No, it's not. Sammy it's going to be Sammy. It's going to be Sammy. You shut your whore mouth. Or, or Dan Housen, perhaps. You, no, against, it's not. You <laughs> Sammy. Against you your, Darby Allen. You shut your whore mouth. You love my horror mouth. Get out of here! I am not going to speak until Sammy top. gets this. I'm not going to speak until this match is over with. Well, you may be lucky. Oh, you're not lucky. Maybe this time you'll be lucky. Oh, you're not lucky. <laughs> Dude, why are you doing this to me? Shut up. Why would you do this to me? Maybe you'll be lucky. No. M maybe you'll be lucky no. here. Ooh, not very lucky. <laughs> Rope break. Now that was pretty lucky. Sammy, you should not have needed that rope break. Get him! You! You! you me. Come back for Danhausen. No. Stop. Going to the top, because that's where Danhausen's go. To the top! Ooh! Sammy reversing. Boom! 
Good night, sweet prince. Danhausen is out of it. Oh, but he comes back. Kick to the guts from Sammy. Boom! Taking down Danhausen. Danhausen smartly running out of the ropes. Uh, running out of the ring. See, Brock can't talk right now because he's busy learning how uh, professional wrestling should be booked. I hate everything. So he's busy taking notes. Why would you do this to me? Why Sammy. wouldn't I? Sim, 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 sim. Oh, did Chris Jericho not teach you anything? Thought you finished the job, Sammy. Finish the fucking job. Me. I'd break his kneecap. Whoop. Danhausen taking advantage. Stop. Why are you letting him run this match? Because Danhausen deserves his chance to shine. No, he does not. He most certainly does. He's a worse mid carder than Cody Rhodes. That's not what your mom said. Oh, my God. He's a worse mid card than, Bro- than Bo Dallas. That's not what your sister said. Oh my lord, I do have a sister. <laughs> One, a two, three. Dan Housen versus Darby Allen. Live at Fight for the Fallen Fallen. It will be the most cursed event ever. You will love it. We need a moment of silence for Brock, who has fallen in battle. I'm pouring one out for my homie. Ridiculous. So I almost put Orange Cassidy in this match too. I would hate everything if Orange <laughs> and Danhausen were the last two. You know what? See, I'm I don't ha- put the- I don't hate you. I still love you, but I love to fuck with you, so that's why I put uh, one instead of both. Damn. All right, what do we got here? Well, we have our final five for the women's number one contendership. Uh, unfortunately, Ruby Soho uh, lost her rematch and was unable to get the belt back again. So we're giving her another opportunity here, along with Serena Deeb, uh, Thunder Rosa, um, Hikaru Shida, and Chris Statlander. All of these women have been in contention for that uh, women's title, except for, I think, Chris Statlander. She's never really thrown her hat in the ring. Right. But I thought, why not? What? Why two, not? Two masked women. Who are you going for? Um, Ruby or Thunder. Uh, either one of those I'd be happy with. I'm going to go with Ruby or Deeb. Yeah, I figured you'd be going after that, Deeb. Mm-hmm. Ooh, nice. Ooh, oh, Ruby really? eating ropes. Sheeta taking over. Tossing Deeb out of the ring. Thunder went for that cover relatively quickly. Ooh, nice thunder. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I <laughs> yes. was a, uh, Statlander reversal. Was a <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh, huge bulldog to, 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 to Ruby on the outside from Deeb. My two stop biting each other. That favorite champion lost. I'm quite upset. <laughs> and it was pinned by Danhausen, so I'm even more upset. Yep. And Danhausen won the match. There's a double so two I'm can. More upset. The double two can sandwich right there, my friend. You got double the you know, two cans in that person, sandwich, my friend. As a person who loves gim- gimmicks. I thought you said like that loves gimps. <laughs> I feel like I'm being a hip hypocrite because Danhausen is uh, a different type of gimmick that we haven't seen before. And I'm all like, no, man, it fucking sucks. I don't like it. Yeah, you'll suck it until one match where you finally get behind him and then you'll be like, I don't know why I didn't ever always like this guy. <laughs> why didn't I see it before? Because Jam Saw said so. Every time I say your name, for some reason, I want to throw an H in Jam Shaw. Jam Shaw, no. Yeah, for for some reason, I want to. When I talk to Josh about you, it's always I always like Jam Shaw. To, yeah, I I always I don't I I just don't know why. It's because you think that you're Humphrey Bogart, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to, we went to see the Jam Shaw. We went to the Jam Shaw, okay. Ooh, we'll yeah. be working on Thunder on the outside. Sheeta getting her ass handed to her by and Chris Stepander in the and ring. Deebs, Deebs, Deebs is just rusted. Yep, Deebs is taking it Deebsy. Yep, I see Sheeta. Yeah. Oh, Statlander. Ooh. Tossing her to the corner. Rolling her over. Threw a kick to the back of the head. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. At least let one of my people move on uh, to face the champion. Come on, it's this Sunday. Come on. Man, Thunder and, and Ruby on the outside are, are keeping things going. Deeves with Sheeta in the ring. Gotta always hit that invisible wall. Now, why didn't, why didn't we do a tag one? A tag when what? Uh, like a five-way. Because like uh, then it wouldn't be five matches. I'd have to have a sixth match. Okay. And I kind of already had an idea for who the number one contenders were going to be because of last week. Okay. Remember I said uh, oh, Sammy yeah. and Moxley, or no, Sammy and Punk's team won? So the rest of these matches are to determine number one contenders for which there were none for any of these uh, ladies' spots. Deeb and Zoho are getting their ass beat right now. No, Soho, get the fuck out of here, man. Picking her up in the cor- in the ring. Boom! Oh, Huge. That's my idea for Rose. Oh, uh, so stop. stop. Come on, dude. Now imagine if Deeb was the next one eliminated. I will hate everything. He pokes on Statlander, I guess. Should have gone after Sheeta, but, you know, it is what it is. I've been so saying that I- constantly lately. My my wife, when she asks me something, and she's like, well, you don't look too happy about it. And I'm like, 
You please, would you please? <laughs> <laughs> no, Skylander, stop it. Fuck. Come on. What are you doing? No, stop, stop. You reverse this. Oh, no. Deep, 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 deep. Yes, thank you. Jesus Christ. Why did you even need that rope break? Get off the rope, Steve. There you go, there you go, there you go. There get go, off the rope, Steve. Get off those ropes, get off those ropes. Don't you come back no more. Yes. No, I thought you got out of it. Fuck. Steve. 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 A friend in Deeb's a friend in need. A friend with Deeb is better. She's taking it back to Statlander while Sheeta goes gets her signature weapon. The Ooh, got it stolen by Thunder Roaster, that kendo stick. Clubbed in the head on the outside while Deeb goes for that submission maneuver. But Statlander does not tap. Dropping her. Going for that comeback. Deeb might go, have go, it go. in her now. Cover, 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 cover. She's going to try power maneuver first. Now go for the cover. Um, and goodbye, Statlander. Hope so. No, only oh a my two god. Kid. Well, she is a weird kind of alien chick, ain't she? Whoop! Blammo! Dude, what are you doing? Maybe because I'm drinking coffee instead of my usual alcoholic drink. Mm. Yeah, I'm that's having some nice blue it. dry. The bad maybe, blue dry. Maybe that's why I'm not having my better nights. <clears throat> well, why don't you fix that and go fix yourself a drink? Oh, I should, right? Oh, Dean, come on! Nice roll. But you whiffed it. Like, if I step away, she might lose. <laughs> <laughs> Got one more match after this, so... Yep. I mean, what's the point now? Well, the main event, it might be worth something. All right, I'm going to step away for like two minutes. I swear to God, if you... Give me two minutes! And folks, I sent him away to spare him the pain of knowing that Deeb is about to lose. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. Blam, taking Sheeta down a notch. Smacking her face into the can or head to the canvas. Cheetah fighting out of it. Boom. So Sheeta's like the queen of the ring right now. Oh, huge kick. From Chris okay, back, Statlander. Back, 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 yeah, you missed back, it. Deems was eliminated. Back. No, I'm kidding. No! You... I'm kidding. She was not eliminated. No one was eliminated. I got some uh, generic vodka, and uh, uh, I mixed it with these. Uh, my wife bought uh, this uh, spiked popsicles, uh, and one of them was a screwdriver flavored, flavor, so I just put some of that in. That is so, nice. So I'm having an extra strong <laughs> screwdriver, I guess. Okay. <laughs> 
Man, imagine if you slush that shit up and have it like a snow cone with vodka in it. Be like, oh, well, it's so supposed good. to be a popsicle. Boy, that no, one. it makes that, sense. But I don't yeah, know if yeah. alcohol freezes. It doesn't. That's why. Hold on. Let me actually read you what it's called then. Now, now I look stupid. So it's these Western Suns spiked ice bar, uh, spiked variety pack. They're gluten free, uh, but the flavors are three watermelon, three screwdriver, three blueberry lemonade, and three raspberries. It's made with what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was distracted. I didn't even know it was happening until it happened. I was listening to the ingredients of your thing. So, well, it's made with award-winning Western Suns vodka, so it's vodka. Damn it! Damn it! Well, I guess in a certain consistency, mixed with other things, it can it can freeze. Then I guess. I hate everything, Jam. Why would you? I'm not going to show up for the show on Sunday. How about that? I can go both ways. Damn. Shut your whole mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, man. I can always call Josh. (laughs) That's fine, because I'll call Josh, too. He really appreciates my tones. Wow. You know what? Now I don't know who to go for them. What? I couldn't hear you above the whining. Both my people were eliminated first. Are you shitting me? They weren't first. Uh, uh, oh, she was. Never mind. That's yeah. right. Wrong. You want know for that? I'm going to put... Punishing by not bringing Santino back for season three. How about that? How about that? This cobra would show up on the AEW and would spit in your oh. face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the better man, Brock. How dare you? So now we start eliminating other people. Get out of here, man. <laughs> He'll show up on Monday night. Santino will show up on Monday night and be like, Oh, I thought I was going on the, the good show on Monday night. <laughs> oh, they moved to Wednesday? See you later, boss. <laughs> mean, mean, but the Phoenix. Sure, now they eliminate everybody. What the fuck, dude? She went hardcore in that last couple of minutes. Somebody was, like, bitching at that raft. They're like, look at the fucking time. Look at the time, guys. We're over time, man. We still have a main event to do. That's bullshit. Get fuck out of here. She don't... Mm. Oh, of course it would be, Fida, because she fucked me over when it came to the, uh, the, the, the Omni War. So, you know, it is what it is. Oh, so you're calling another Jericho, are you? I don't want to say it, but... I mean, on your show it's the SmackDown shenanigans. On this show it's the Jericho, right? I mean, if the shoe fits, brother. Yeah, SmackDown shenanigans definitely fits. I'll tell you what. Hex Tory Shields. That's ridiculous. Yeah, you're ridiculous. Nope. You know, I'm gonna. I have a choice on who I want to win, but I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to jinx it. You want it to be Malachi Black. I'm not going to say anything. Or maybe it's Christian Cage, Captain Charisma himself. I'm not going to say anything. We shall see, my man. Perhaps it will be Adam Cole, baby. So once again, need to thank you for being here for all that color commentary you're refusing to make tonight. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. I Jerry, every chance you get. None of the people that I want to win tonight have won tonight. 
and you you do this shit on purpose, GM Talk. You mean book a good show? I sure do, bro. You one, should try it sometime. Season one, season, season one was about our friendship. We bonded. We had fun. We created the Red Saw Awards. It was amazing. This season, you know, it's all about you. This season it's is about just about, about burring down the, the, the conceptions of what is and building upon the what could be. No, season three is going to be me. Season three is going to be me. Season three is going to be you. What we shall see. Remember, I'm not saying who I want to win. No, but you will say, God damn it, when they lose. <laughs> yep, exactly. Nice, Kenny. So, as usual, some chaos. Some chaos, baby. We really love to have some chaos in the ring, baby. Makes for extreme storytelling. And man, night. Did you say M night? Shyamalan. No, hang. It said <laughs> hangman. <laughs> Talk about that cowboy shit. Oh yeah. Like Captain Charisma, not gonna let that go unpunished. No, Hammering away either. at hangman's noggin. With a steel post that has come a knocking. Whoa! Malachi Black just Jeez, threading the needle there. Painful. Adam Cole looking to pick things up in the ring with Christian. Hangman saying, I ain't gonna let you two tussle alone. Alright, fine, Christian, you can go for that cover. Nice, nice, Adam. Boom! Christian getting hit by both sides. Totally no selling it. You pick him up. And I'm oh, cool. oh. Bye -bye. Kenny Omega really working on Malachi on the outside. Oh, bam! Malachi looking pretty fucked. We go cage the lesson on the outside. Ooh, nice knee, Adam Page. Kenny oh, Omega yeah. and Malachi Black round the outside, round the outside. Christian looking nice like he's knee. horking up his breakfast over there on the outside. <laughs> he's like, why did I unretire from this shit? <laughs> Ooh. One. Only a one count by Adam Cole on Hangman Page. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Christian and Adam Cole just fighting over the opportunity to fuck with Hangman. Yep. Boom! Ooh. What a move! Hangman's still getting to his feet. Oh, Adam. You know what's funny? It's Adam Cole and Hangman Adam Page fighting against Christian, who was partnered with Adam Edge Copeland. Hmm. It is a strange, weird universe we live in, with all kinds of coincidences. He's going to turn it into Boston Crab. Two. Oh, yeah, he yep. is. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Did he tap out? No. He grabbed I his I heard uh, the bell. ankle. Yeah, no, he, he grabbed his ankle and flipped him. Oh, Kenny Omega taking down Hangman. Now gonna work... Nope, doesn't get a chance to work on Christian. Oh, maybe he will. Boom! Huge knee to the side of the noggin. 
Kenny going for the cover. Only a two count. Christian not going to be punked that easily. Ooh, ooh, ooh pile driver on to Adam Cole, baby. This might be good night. What? All right, never, never mind. Okay, this is beauty on prettier. I wonder if Christian's just saving it up for the right opportunity. Maybe. Well, I'm cool. Nice snap back. Snap mare. Oh, ref bump. Oh, now, do you Adam think Cole more screwed himself. Because this has already easily been a three count, and the ref now just getting down. Adam, if you had not hit the ref. So do you pay them more for every ref bump that uh, they pay? Uh, no, actually, every time a ref gets bumped, they owe me money because they got oh. in the way of a shot. Damn. I run a tight ship, motherfucker. <laughs> Democracy. No, dictatorship. And Jeff yeah. runs a dick. They both so. begin with a D, and D stands for dick, and I'm a dick, so deal with it. <laughs> Adam! Adam Cole. Oh, who's he counting, though? Two. He's calling Alistair. He, count, uh, he counted Malachi's and not fucking that. Man, that's a screw yeah. job right there. Adam Cole was down first. Nice pitch slap. Oh, Adam Cole. Reversed by Christian. Oh, sneaky roll up. Boom, kick oh. to the face. Super kick out of the young bucks, but ooh. Nice, nice, nice kick. Jawbreaker in it. Yes. Almost looked like a Judas effect from Christian. Almost, almost. Maybe showing Chris Jericho, it's like, I can Judas Effect too, bitch. Going Get for it. that unpretty Get it. Get blammo. It. Get it. Going for the cover. Go, 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 go. One, two, three. So Thank Adam you. Cole and Kenny Omega eliminated. We're down to three. Christian, Malachi Black, and Hangman Page. Yeah, why not, right? <laughs> it's like, you never know. Nice, going to bat. Go for a cover, Christian. Oh! Okay. Sense. Oh, Hangman kips up. Oh! Nice. Malachi driven back down into the canvas. Come on, Christian, you can do it! Go for the cover. Oh, bam! That should be enough right there. And oh. and 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 God damn it, Christian. Oh, dude. Is well, that your pick? Week <laughs> this week sucks. I don't, I don't That was your pick, anymore. wasn't it? <laughs> I don't like it here anymore. I'm going home. I don't like it here anymore. <laughs> you just got to drink you, more, man. That's you, a, you, it'll make you feel better. You jericho me this entire match. You jericho yourself. You jericho me this entire You jericho yourself. Wow. You jerk coded yourself, wow. and Hangman Page wow. takes it away. Fucking, I'm not fucking shocked. I'm we'll not shocked. go one on one with Chris Jericho at the pay per view. Just like Vince McMahon, not giving Christian a proper shot. Wow. 
No, oh, man. I call, it's like, I, when call you, fucking, I call fucking shenanigans. He had a one in five chance uh, of winning. Wait, in wait, the, wait, 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 wait. But don't you have Cole facing Jericho in the main event? No. Yeah, you mentioned something that, that Cole was going to do it at the main event. Don't think so. I don't think so. When did Cole face? Because Cole, Cole was in a contest last month to get that number one contendership. Anyway, oh, I, with that being said, everybody, yeah. this is going to be it for us. Thank you very much for watching. Links in the description. Check out Brock Redhead's channels. We love all of your feedback and continued support. Uh, yeah. Thank you and peace. Peace.